So, what do you get in your tidy pie kit? Well, for starters, you get a neat little box. Keeps all the bits nice and safe in postage. Inside that box, everything's neatly arranged in a nice little carrier. So, let's see what that kit contains. So, we'll look at this big bit here. This is to capture, well, to create sound. Little piezo transducers. You got a little switch. They'll obviously let you switch it over and on. These tiny things here. These are resistors for the screen. Now they are pretty tiny, so I've included a couple just in case they ping off the desk. We have a little three-way joystick, which goes across the top, gives you a left and a right and a center click. A few little action buttons, nice and clicky, with little silicon tops on, just to make them nice to press. You also have the five-way joystick, which is, it does left, right, up and down, and also has a click in the middle as well. You then got the screen, tiny little TFT screen, with a bit of a scary looking ribbon. Now don't worry about that, I'll make sure you know how to solder that properly. <coughs> and finally, the little purple PCB. These are made by OSH Park in America. Beautiful little things. And that completes the kit. Now of course that won't work on its own. You're going to need to get yourself a Raspberry Pi Zero. Any of them will work as long as they don't have the headers already soldered. Because that would make it a bit difficult to solder onto the board. Of course you're also going to need some power and you're probably going to need a case unless you want to do something with this or make your own. But anyway, that's a bit, bit of an overview. Thanks for watching.